one of the sort of main advantages of immunotherapy has been that when patients do respond, there's a real durability of response. Um, so although the, the overall response rates to immunotherapy have not been all that impressive, they're between 15 to about 24% of patients who will have a response. Um, the studies are starting to show that probably anywhere between 70 to over 80 percent of those patients are still on drug and are responding up to a year out um, while they're on treatment. And that really speaks to the durability of the response from immunotherapy but also the tolerability of the treatment. Um, one of the things that we do see, however, early on is that in a small percentage of patients, sometimes we actually start to see what looks like progression of disease on the first scan that patients have uh, performed while they're on the treatment. So for example, with the tezolizumab, after about three treatments, we will check a scan and sometimes it will actually show that the lesions, the metastatic sites have grown in size. But the patient seems to be clinically benefiting from the treatment. They're feeling better, they're gaining weight, they have a better appetite and energy level. And what we think is happening in those cases is actually what we call pseudoprogression, in which what we're seeing when we see an increase in size of those lesions is actually the immune cells starting to infiltrate the tumor and attack them. And so um, many of these patients actually will be continued on treatment or should be continued on treatment despite what the imaging studies may show as long as they're gaining a clinical benefit from the treatment. And what we frequently see on the second scan after another three treatments or so is that things are actually starting to shrink again. Um, and hopefully we'll continue to do so.